You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Pork pie, I said. Pork pie. Not without a jar of pickle lily. No, I won't. No. Anyway, Mike. Did you just stick your penis in it anyway? No. No, okay. I have some Saunders. You need to pick a lily for that to happen, do you? Mm, pick a willy. Mm. What, have you, what, have we, what have you dug up for us today then, Mike? Well, I, I've managed to find a, an interesting side effect to COVID. Oh. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names footer across the bottom of the screen, we brace ourselves for this week's showbiz with Lee. The windy pops there, sorry, but that's fine. It's gone now. Smell hasn't though. Mm. Um, so show it again. <laughs> yeah, not oh, nice. Um, showbiz this week. Uh -huh. Bit of news about um, a Wayne Wynn Evans, the um, the the meteorological. Did I say that right? No. Meteorological? No. How do we say it? Meteorological. 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 Logical. 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 You're adding an R in where there's no R. Meteorological. Yeah. Weather person. Just say weather person. Weather person, yeah. So he, he's, he's been, all throughout the pandemic, he's been keeping the nation perky by telling us about the, the weather and also drumming. Uh-huh. So he, he... Massive percussionist. Massive percussionist. That's so another he, word you can't remember, right, Another word, <laughs> yes. I'm going to try and say drumathon. Oh, I got that one right. So he did, um, towards the end of last year, he did the drumathon for children in need, where he um, drummed for like 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Not just one drum, but a lot of different drums, a lot of different songs. Was it not a set? It was a set of drums <laughs> that had some drums on them. So, so there here he is. With his many drums, or yes. a set yes. of drums. So he's got a snare and a side tom there. Okay. Um, he's only gone and got himself a chat show. Has he really? He has. So he's just he's just announced that he is, it's, 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 we've got a picture of him, it's a Wayne Wynne Evans chat show. It's in Welsh, because okay. he is Welsh. Uh -huh. But there are, he's put, there are subtitles for non-Welsh speaking people. Okay. If you want to, if you want to watch it. It's going to be on, um, BBC iPlayer initially, but then you can get it. Yeah, BBC. With it, with it being on S Four C. Well, it's that not unlikely because that's Channel Four. Oh, is it not on? That's all not what four, it maybe? says here, though. It says, it says, it says. Oh well, you'll find it if you look for it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so yeah, um, and last year he was given uh, an award by the Sheriff of Greater Manchester. I didn't even know we had a Sheriff yeah, yeah. of Greater Manchester. Didn't shoot the deputy. Did they wear like, um, like, a, like a sheriff outfit and a badge and yes. stuff? Yes. Um, so yeah, he was awarded a special gong. We've got a picture of him getting his gong. Um, from, not <laughs> Why are you from, laughing at the word <laughs> gong? Not from, it's just a funny word, isn't it? Um, just from, from the mayor. So that, that good for him. So here we have a picture of him with his. He, it was presented to him on. It was presented to him on um, breakfast television by the sheriff. On breakfast television. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So good for him, and he's also done a radio show on BBC too. So yeah, good. Although you know, in that that lovely award, mm -hmm. did that not irritate you that award? Why? Because it's not in the frame square. Don't care. Do you not? It's no. irritating me. Did it? Yeah. See, look. Oh yeah. It's yeah. it's it's off on both axes. Yeah, it needs to be in the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. Good good for him. Good for him. So, another bit in it. Right. So, we're all being told and we kind of agree that sort of moving over to a plant-based diet. <laughs> I was say power system. <laughs> <laughs> a plant-based diet is probably, you know, good for for the world okay. as in the environment. Yep. So everybody seems to be jumping on the plant-based diets at the moment. Why, don't why they? is it that, that vegan and plant-based food is better for you and uh, better for the environment, Lee? Um, is it something to do because of cow farts? Cow burps, actually. Cow burps? Cow burps contain more methane than cow farts. Do they? Yeah. Because my worry is, mm. right, if we stop eating the cows, and yeah. I, I do, thank you, thank you, I do worry, yes, Gallery. Um, 
what's going to happen to the cows? Because if we're not eating them, there's just going to be more and more cows. Right. What are so we going to do? If with we're them? not eating them, so mm -hmm. we won't need to slaughter them. So we won't need to breed them as much. But what about so, all the ones that are left? <laughs> so we, we won't don't eat. We won't intensively farm them. Yeah, but where will they go? They'll just wander around. But where? Just off you the don't end know, of cliffs, do like you? It's not, it, People haven't thought this through. Right, well, are you concerned about the time where we're just non-stop covered by cows? What, what is the career for a cow that's so, not going to be meat, meat? Dairy? Dairy cows? That's a small portion of cows. Okay. So what do we do? Do we have to get rid of all the cows? Just have, just have a couple? So, so really, what, what, what we're saying here is that you want to kill all the cows. That no, we don't want to kill all... No, 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 no. I mean, this is nothing to do with showbiz whatsoever. Yeah, okay. It's, um, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about celebrity cow. I'm just, well, oh. could be. Um, so um, let's just put that aside, because that's a, that's a topic for, for, for a big discussion, isn't it? So McDonald's, yes, the purveyor of the meat feast, the rib... Dog burger and all those kind of the things. The rib dog burger <laughs> and the meat feast. One the, of which is a pizza. They have they yes. have they have come up with their very own plant based patty. It's called a McPlant. A plant based patty. Plant based patty. We've got a picture is that of it here. Justin Bieber's mum, Patty Mallet. <laughs> Quite a good drag queen name, that isn't it? Plant based patty. Yeah, yeah. I think we've had it. So, so they have come <laughs> up with it. They, they've teamed up with with a, with a company called Beyond Meat, um, which I've seen films. With that title, Beyond Meat. Um, yeah, I was gonna say uh, <laughs> when I first heard of Beyond Meat, I thought it's like Beyond the Grave. So it's like oh, we've got all these old people. What are we gonna do with them? Oh, Beyond Meat, more meat, more meat, some meat, some meat, any meat. Yeah. Um, it's a full range. So, <laughs> so it's got it's got this vegan burger. Uh -huh. It's got it's got lettuce. It's got tomato. It's got a vegan alternative to cheese. That doesn't sound vegan cheese is never that doesn't good. sound good. Um, and who who do you think that they would get to? What celebrity to promote this? Uh, Linda McCartney. She's dead. And? Bit of like CGI. on a say, like seance. A bit of CGI in. <laughs> no. So the, the, Greta Thunberg, could they have got her? No. David Attenborough. Is he still alive? Yeah, only just, but he's still with us, yeah. No, they've got winner of Drag Race UK season one, the Vivian, to promote it. So yeah, here we go. Um, there's a picture of her eating the burger. There. Well, well to she's, be not fair, she's not eating a burger. She's, she's, she's shouting, holding it, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and looking into the distance. Um, she's probably going, "This is for you, cows." And um, so we have we because <laughs> she's a fan fan of the cows. Yeah, okay. We have got. If you look behind you in your little cubby hole, Mike, uh -huh. we may have the said McPlant burger. Oh, oh, and you've given me a napkin too. Well, to spit it out into. <laughs> So yeah, it's green, green and brown. It is green, green and brown. Now it looks. Now have, has this got evil on it, also as gherkins? I d yeah, I can see one poking. No, out. I can get rid of that straight off. Because I just, I just got them as they are. I, I will no, take the gherkin don't off. Don't eat that either. Cause it's and, evil. Um, and oh, it's got mayo in it. But this is a this well, is a vegan, vegan mayo. mayo, which I always think that vegan mayo just looks a little bit suspicious. I don't like tomato, so I'm taking that off. So it looks like a. Oh no, it does. If, if you feel it. It's yeah. a little bit mushy. Is that because it's been in the cup and it's cold? Yeah. Possibly. This is so, just a cold McDonald's burger. Do you want to... Shall we try it? Let me yeah, my it smell. First. It smells... It doesn't smell like a burger. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm not mad at it. Okay. I'm going to have a go. You know what? If that didn't have mayo on it, that'd be like a Big Mac. It just tastes just like a burger, a meat mm. burger, a cow burger. That's cool. All right, hoover it off, love. So fit in. Here you get, fill your boots. Um. So yeah, because some vegan food is a bit iffy. Yeah, we've had we've had iffy stuff before. Mm. But I'm pro this. I can tell by the way you're stuffing it in your mm. maw. You're gaping more. Mmm. So, yeah. Vegan burger promoted by a vegan drag queen. I don't know if she's vegan. Yeah. Go try it, people. Get flatulence. That's the end of this week's show, Mr. News. Flatulence? 
gastric distress, vegan food and me. Oh, and you? Mm. Anything causes you gastric distress. Air does. Well, I've heard about you anyway. Anyway, um, always nice to get some free food on the show. Totally welcome, Mike. I rubbed that on my bottom before I gave it you. <laughs> anyway, stick around as next. It's Mike and the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cut. You finished that off, babe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, yeah. Let's go over to Mike and he'll bring us the buzz. <laughs> I was trying not to belch in your face. There was one brewing there. Sesame seeds. Sesame, you've got seeds in your teeth. Mm. I hate it when you end up with a seed in your teeth. Anyway, um, I have been having a bit of a dig, a bit of a footer, a bit of a ponder. Yeah, basically, warmed my hands, dove straight in. Nice. And then I looked on the internet and I found some, some fun little stories. Did you? Public transport. I don't know where. What? I don't know public transport. You don't know public transport? No. I think it's probably the 90s the last time I went on public transport. Public transport. <laughs> and how long ago was the 90s? About 10 years ago. Have you ever been on a tram? Mm. A simple yes or no? It's a I'm just, closed I'm just question. Thinking, I'm just thinking, not in this country. Okay, but you have been on I a tram. I have been on a tram in Amsterdam. Okay. Ah, Amsterdam. Easy. No, I wasn't doing anything naughty. I went for a city break. Uh-huh. City break. Don't tar me with your brush. I didn't touch you with anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's still fishing. To, to yeah, to they're everywhere. That's really attractive. Like, so I it's think 90% like, mm, of those vegan mm, burgers mm, made up of sesame seeds. <laughs> yeah. Take your teeth out, you marine. <laughs> right. right. Um, well, you get, get announcements. On you do. Transport, especially trams. The and next is... stop will be somewhere in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine unless you're on the Birmingham tram. Oh, yes. <laughs> like you're a bit lost. You've gone the wrong way. Yes. This is a story about a Manchester tram driver, mm -hmm. okay, who has basically told commuters that um, his wife thinks he's having an affair. Oversharing at work? Oversharing a little bit, mm. yeah. So making an announcement on the Metrolink service, an employee has re revealed that all of a sudden he's become more friendly to everybody. Oh. Yeah. And he used to be in my, a right miserable sod, and now he talks to everybody. Is that a quote from somebody? That's from the tram driver. He oh, said he, he said that he about said himself. He used to be really oh, right, OK. Just he interviewed some passenger who was a right miserable sod. <laughs> oh, is that Dave? Dave the tram driver. Uh. Oh, it's so boring. Um, but, yeah, he's basically shared... That he's you know opened up and so because of that his wife said, hang on a minute are you having this one? <whistles> somebody else okay because he's suddenly changed his whole is that what happens you know? when you have an affair you become more friendly more well outgoing. you don't become more friendly to some people yeah um, <laughs> but yeah um is he said no it's just he really enjoys his job now he's enjoying like talking to the commuters and 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 being part of that so i mean to be fair you know i would be suspicious Suspicious. If somebody... Are we, have we lost the shush? <laughs> suspicious now? <laughs> because the, what, if you're dead miserable for the majority of your life yeah, yeah. and hate your job and then suddenly you like your job... You get a new job and what's you like going, it. But he hasn't got a new job, has he? Yeah, he's got on the tram. Was he not a tram driver before? No. Oh, you see, you didn't give me the full facts, Mike. No, I did. You just didn't listen. You said he was a tram driver. Yeah, he is a tram driver. Yeah, but you didn't insinuated he that he was always driver, been a tram driver. I didn't. And was a miserable tram driver. No, I just said he was now he's happy. No, he's just happy. I'll move on to a different story then. Is there, is there anything else with this? Or no, is just happy? I'm just giving up. He's happy. Man happy. Yes. Shock. Is, was he having, is he having an affair? No, he's not having with an affair. With the tram? Is he one of those mechanicophobes? Mechanicophobes? There's an actual genuine, that's a genuine fetish that people... Mechanophiles, yes, thank you, gallery. That they that they fall in love with with mechanical objects. Don't tell me you've not tried that, Mike. I've. <laughs> okay, so I've just googled mechanophiles. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's come up with. But there is there is what has it come up with? It's a story about a couple who lost their child at a young age. Well, type in. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that. Type in. <laughs> People in love with machinery. 
because I watched a documentary on it. And, Did you and watch there was a woman porn? who was in love with a roller coaster in America and she wanted to marry it. Mechanophilia. Mechanophilia. Mechanophilia, which makes more sense. Yeah. They gave her a, they gave her a bolt that had come loose that she could take it home and whoosh, It's also it. known as as paraphilia as well. What's that? Paraphilia is is another name for it. It's, well see, it's a true thing, see? Is he is he shagging his tram? No. <laughs> Yeah, well, what are you talking about it for then? Well, just a nice little story about a man who thought, oh, I was having an affair. No, I'm not. I'm just happy. Oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, just to, trying to do something nice for a change. Whatever. Instead of talking about so things like teachers who are getting suspended at work. Which, which teachers been suspended at work? Well, this one, an, ele an elementary teacher um, in America who's 43, who's been arrested for having a bag of wine in her classroom um, and behaving drunkenly. <laughs> oh, wow. What age range does she teach? Um, elementary school, so What's that's that? American for, for juniors. Oh. Yeah, mm. or primary school, as it's also known. Um, so, yes, Sharon R. Brern. That's B-E-R-A-N. Baron, 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 who's forty-three. Perhaps that's why she was. She's turned to drink because none of the kids could get. Um So yeah, forty-three um, faces charge of possession of alcohol in public school property. I mean, the smart ways of doing it, isn't there? Everybody's got a water bottle now. You can you could top that up with alcohol. Well, what kind of alcohol? Gin. Okay, so clear, clear alcohol. Clear alcohol. Yeah, so yes. it's like, is it walking around with a red wine? Like, no, <laughs> Pinot no, like Noir a cocktail, in a water bottle. A pina colada. Um, <laughs> then you know that's not. I went for red wine. You went for pina colada. <laughs> snowball. Um... <laughs> Do you know what's in a snowball? Malibu. Advocar. Okay. Avocado made into alcohol. I last went for a cocktail in the nineteen seventies. This is all my only point of reference. Okay, says so the man that's dressed like he's from the case catalogue. <laughs> tropical sunrise. What's in that? A tropical sunrise. Mm, is that even a is that even a cocktail? Tequila sunrise. Tequila sunrise. Yeah, which contains tequila. <laughs> you ever had a slow screw against a wall? No, I I don't drink alcohol, so it would have to be. Oh, so I was being per I was being personal. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So she's going to be sacked because she's drunk all the time in school. She's been arrested. Oh, because it's public property. Silly woman. I know, but. I We've all been there. What, drunk in charge of children? I don't drunk think Drunk in so. charge of children? <laughs> They're not machinery. <laughs> They're not going to drive down the M56 it's on like, one. There's afternoon, children, it's sleepy time. <laughs> Just let them do what they want to do. I think a change of career is probably on the horizon. Into sommelier. For Miss Brewer. Miss Brewer. Brewer. Yes. Yes. Sending good thoughts. Sending love. Virtual hugs. Anyway, that brings us nicely over to our story of the week. Okay. Okay. Now, this technically is science, so it should be in that science that oh, I've turned off now. Switched off. We switched off. Yeah. Okay. So for everybody at home, then, this is a, a sudden side effect that we found out, which is called COVID penis. Oh, now I've perked up. Oh no! <laughs> You've got to sleep. <laughs> oh. All right. So now I've, I've caught you up to date with the idea of a COVID penis. Mm. Yeah. Remember that if you want to interact with us on social media, search for at the Could TV. And our website is thecud.tv. Are you not telling so. us about the penis? You want to talk about the penis? Come on, let's. You want now to know about the now penis? you've edged us, let's finish it. Exactly, that's what I was doing. Edging oh, well, yeah. okay. And that's all from the show. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I won't do that to you. Are you going to do your only fans thing? Link to your only fans. Which is my COVID penis. So, this is a gentleman um, called um, Rick Juzvik. Right. His... Rick Jusvik. No, Jusvik. Jusvik. It's said Jusvik. And he's in his COVID dick. <laughs> uh, was hosting his show. Uh, it was a podcast called How to Do It. And a man is 30 who describes is living with one of the long term effects of COVID. And his penis is an inch and a half shorter. So he got COVID and his cock shrunk. Shrunk, yes. Did it though? Is he just saying that? Because he's not particularly very well endowed in the first place. So, uh, well, because when you, co when you get COVID, you're not very well. No, you know, but I didn't know that your, your, your members shrunk when you weren't very well. Well, you, you don't exercise the muscle as much, do you, if you're not very well? And it's like going to the gym. You do a lot of exercises, you get off. bigger muscles. Seriously, f*** off. F*** off. You're not... <laughs> you're also, just mental note that for later when I go home to research that. Is it true? Um, <laughs> what? 
if you don't use your, your it bits. It shrinks, yeah. No, it doesn't. It's just that size anyway. No, it's a muscle. So as you use it more, right? So you, like you're pulling your pad, you stretch it. No, because if that was the case, <laughs> I'd have like laugh. 12 full inches snaking down my leg because it's constantly being used. <laughs> so, and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're not being rough enough then. No, don't you don't be don't be <laughs> aggressively penis, penis pulling on your tod. You should pop them in. Your... No, I don't uh, think that's true. Up. I think you're making it up. So, um, it, it's science. It's not science, because if that's the case, everybody would old men would have massive penises because they over exercise them to but make they, them bigger. They, they don't do it as much when you get older. So yeah. So because of COVID, his penis has shrunk. Okay. Yeah. He needs to pull it a bit then, doesn't he? He needs to, to back it out. To <laughs> yes. Size. Pop it in a hoover. Don't a little pop bit it bigger. in a hoover. Vacuum pack it. Vacuum pack it. Vacuum seal it. Vacuum seal it. <laughs> Vacuum pack it. What are those ones that people, that gentlemen... A pump. Yeah, they put both the meat and veg in and then... Pump. Turn it yeah, and then it goes boom. <laughs> like that. A pump. Does it stay like that forever? It, it does engorge for quite a while. Oh, because I have that, um, the way that the piece works is basically a sponge, and as you fill it, as you fill it with blood, <laughs> small testicles. I have no, I have <laughs> a lip plumper that you, and that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that, Mike. People will find out about my lip pump on social media because I will post pictures of it. Mm. So stay with us because coming up we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now it's time for us to play our game of the week. So Mike, what you need to do is you need to gather your cheeks up mm -hmm. and make your way over to the gaming area. Gaming area? Yes. Can I go to my special area instead? Your, your special area. I like yes. my special area. It's Off warm. Your pop chick. It doesn't smell of feet. Game of the week. This week we are playing Ooza Kazoo. The rules are quite simple. Mike is going to play a tune through a kazoo and I've got to try and guess what it is. Are you ready, MJ, BJ? <laughs> that was, I'm ready, are you ready? <laughs> Have you started? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, th I had no idea. I thought they didn't say go. I know what it is. What is it? Zippity doo dah. It is a zippity doo dah. What's that? A blank look going on. That's for you at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's You Are My Sunshine. My young... Is it? Oh! Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Wednesday, Thursday, happy days. D -d 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 happy day. <laughs> Thursday, Friday. <laughs> you literally just forgot what days are in a week. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Wednesday, Thursday, happy days. Friday, Saturday, happy days. And there's Sunday, but that doesn't fit in with the song. Do 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 do. Ready to work with you. There. Oh, he's off. They're off. They're off. And they're off. Was it right? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> 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 
YMCA. Is that how you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Is it something to do with the bells of St. Bevan's? Say the bells of Bo Bevan's. Who's Bo Bevan's? Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Is it that? No. It's oranges and lemons. Bo Bem. Bo Lemons. Oranges and lemons. Oh. For the bells of St. Clemens. Yeah, yeah, see, that's it, yeah. Yeah. yeah Not what you it. said. Well, you know. <laughs> Is that, is that Wanna Be by the Spice Girls? I was just having some personal time. <laughs> it wasn't a song? No, I was just having some personal time. Oh, okay. It was I Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. Oh! <laughs> I just walk away. Is it um <laughs> is it Material Girl by Madonna? No. Oh. It was. It was. Yeah. Of course it was. It yeah. was, yes. <laughs> Laugh and cry. It's um um Family Guy. Yeah, it's Family Guy. Oh, Stewie, Stewie. I oh, know it's better the first time. Oh, my pee pee. Ho no, no, that's not how he said it. What are you going to say then? He said so, there was an episode where he was like, "My wee wee has rigor mortis." Um, I don't. <laughs> My pee pee appears to have rigor mortis. I don't know, I can't do this anyway. Oh. <laughs> Is that Emmerdale? The theme tune is Emmerdale Farm. It's not Emmerdale Farm anymore. It hasn't been that for like 30 years, Mike. On the card, it says Emmerdale Farm. Okay. Because it, it's. And it's, mm. and, it, and it's um, in the gallery. They're saying it was called Emmerdale Farm, but you know it's not been called that for like thirty years. But these are your cards. I don't know this one. It sounds familiar, but I don't know it. Is it theme tune? No. Is it a, a pop song? Yeah. Is that a yes or a no? Yeah. <laughs> Keep cutting away from your face when when um uh yeah. um I don't know. <laughs> don't understand. What was it? it? Was take that greatest day. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> oh! Is it the theme tune to um, 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 Indiana Jones? Which one? All of them. No. <sighs> They all have the same theme tune. I was very careful that I picked the right one with the with the, the accent bits. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Correct. Oh, really? Indiana Jones. Oh, pedantic little shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Is it that highly thrilling, charismatic band called Coldplay and that whiny, shy, like... I took this guy for you. You did what? You, know. you tipped the sky for you. I took the sky for you. I took the sky for you. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was not, it's, no, it's not yellow. It's another one by Coldplay, but I can't remember what it is. So you're giving up then? Yes. Okay, it's yellow by Coldplay. It's oh, I'm going to write it. <laughs> <laughs> no, can you play one? Oh no, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, <laughs> yes, I do. Do, do, do. Oh no, this is annoying. And we've been buzzed. Um, oh. I'm interested that it's on the tip of your tongue because it's pussy cat. Is it, what is it? Pussy cat, pussy cat. Oh, pussy cat, pussy yeah. cat. I love you. Yes, I do. You, you and your pussy, and your cat, pussy cat lips. <laughs> Something about Mississippi. No. No. Yeah, Mississippi. <laughs> Wouldn't swim in your waters. I don't know. It's kind of little by the end. Oh. I even did a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think that's gone enough. I've done it. I did quite well this week. I'm you, quite you pleased. It, see, see how well it goes when you don't anger me, Mike. When, when I pick the easy ones, yeah. When you do it properly. Mm. Mm. Easy ones. Yeah. After this quick break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chimming the Cod. Now it's time to go over to Mike with that science that is. That science, that is. So this week, I'm going dangerously close to a craft. Whoa. So yes, um, when you're doing your craft work... Oh, don't do the rabbit ears. What? Insinuating that it isn't craft work, when clearly this has no relation to science whatsoever. This is science. I talk about chemicals all the time. Um, we're going to make chalk. Oh, that sounds thrilling. I didn't... Does, is it called That's Thrilling, That Is? <laughs> no. No, it's not. It's called That's Science, That Is. Yeah, have me there. And we're doing science. Okay, so do you know what the main component of chalk is? It's not cum nothing, dust. Nothing, nothing, because nothing came into my mind that was, that was broadcastable then, so no. Calcium is the biggest component of chalk. Okay. Okay. And there's lots of places you can find calcium in nature. Bones. In, in bones, yes. It's in milk. It's in cheese. Okay. It's in little cal calcium tablets you can take if you blow in calcium. But it's also in eggshells. Oh. So, so what we have here is we have eggshells. Oh, nice one. Yeah. They're all lovely and dry. Free so range? Uh, they are free range because I only buy free range eggs. Oh, good for you. I know. Some of these have, may have even come from the bums of lesbian chickens. Lesbian chickens? I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah, well, my mums have chickens. Oh, so, so by default they are then lesbians. Well, chickens owned by lesbians. Oh, oh chickens are not lesbian chickens. No, not, chick not chickens that are a member of the LGBTQI plus community. Can chickens be lesbians? Yes. I mean, we've had penguins that are gay. Ooh. No, they can. They're, they're one of the two and a half thousand species in which homosexuality has been confirmed. Wow, not just science, but biology. Which is a science. Okay. Right, so what I want you to do is I want you to crush your eggshells up into a powder. All so of them? Should, just some of them. Okay. Um, you need a pestle and mortar, so you just need to, to pound away. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, if you've got a food processor, you can start this off in a food processor. Excuse me, I got Windy Pop then from the um, McPlant burger earlier. You can't still be talking about having gas from that. I, it's, it's, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Are you going to poo yourself? I, I don't know whether it's going to be a poo or whether <laughs> it's going to be a world record earth-shattering emission of emission. gas. You mean a fart? Yes. Right. So we're just not allowed to make you laugh. Do you, what, do you, what consistency do you pound the egg shells to? Powder. Powder? Yes. Wow. Okay, then after a while, if you look, you start to get a nice little powder. Oh my goodness, it's almost as if somebody's come and poured something in <laughs> while the cameras weren't looking. It's almost like that, but it's not. No. Because that would be lying to the TV viewers at home. Okay, so once you've got your nice little powder, yeah, we now need to combine it. With what, Mike? With what? Okay, so the first thing we're going to use is a little bit of flour. Oh. Okay, now you need to be careful with your measurements. You need the same amount of flour as you'll need the next ingredient, which is water. Okay, so I'm going to do a teaspoon of flour. Okay, so add some flour and mix that up. Okay, and then we're going to add your water, that'll bind it all together. Okay. So a teaspoonful of water. You need a teaspoonful of hot water. Oh. Okay. Because what will happen is, as we're adding this in, it's going to cook in with the flour. Just mix that in. Mixy, mixy, mixy. And have you got it like a very thick paste? Yeah. Some it. Some it. So it should look like that. Do I need more water? I don't know. Do you need more water? Has it become like a paste? It's like, like a crumble. Dump? No, it needs to be. It needs to combine itself together. I have done. So it's it, still like. So if you pick it up on a spoon, it should. And you can basically you can hold it. You should be able to hold it like a No, drink. it's like breadcrumbs. Right, you've not added enough water then, you've not measured. I have a feeling that might have been too much water. Oh gee, not enough to too much water there, Mike. Well, I said be careful and measure. Now it looks like porridge. Can I put something else in it? You could possibly use a bit more flour, but it's gonna make your chalk very unusable. Oh. Well. I wasn't planning on doing anything with it. Yeah, how much water did you add? Just a little bit. Because I've got a, like a a, a whitey browny flecked log. Well, it's not hap it's not happened properly, has it? Let's put all of it in. To just see what happens. Do you bake at home, Lee? No. I didn't think you did. Because you're the kind of person that make a cake that's just flour and water by the end of it, kind of <laughs> measured out. That's, that, um, need all of it, I think. Let me see. <sighs> Show me. It's all accumulated onto the spoon. Okay, brilliant. Now, what I want you to do is you should have a little bit of foil there. Yeah. I've got it, Sit it. Right, yeah. you need to pop it into the foil, okay? Get my foil here. Are we making white dog shit? Is that what we're doing? We're making chalk. From the 80s. Well, the ch chalk's been around for longer than the 80s, but yeah, you pop it into your foil. Yeah. Okay. And you make it into a chalk shape. I have made a white dog turd. That's because you've used most oh. Most of yours is flour and water, that's why, because you weren't careful like instructed. I don't see that anymore. 
<laughs> I miss it as well, Gallery White Dog Poo. Do you know why we don't? Do you know why we don't see White Dog Poo anymore? Yes. Um, is it something to do with bones? No, it's because of what's in dog food. They don't put. So there's a um, in the in the eighties and things. They used to have a, a, a basically a preservative that was also a bleaching agent. Abestos. Huh? Abestos. 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 They used to put it in dog food. What? What's Abestos? Abestos. That's not a thing. It is asbestos. Do, do you mean asbestos? Asbe asbestos. Yeah, asbestos. Is that is that how you say it? Asbestos. Yeah. Asbestos. Right. Uh, but and then Very basically good. the bleaching agent used to get activated by sunlight, so a dog poo in the street used to get white. That's why. Yeah. But they don't put that 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 treatment in dog food anymore, so you don't see it. Um, so once you've got a a stick, yeah, of, of chalk, yeah, you just let that dry somewhere warm. Yeah, like at the top near a radiator for a few days. Right? Or you can pop it in a very cool oven overnight. And then that chalk will work on on pavements and things, so you can play hopscotch and the like. Or you can go to the shop and just buy some pre-made. What if it's a bank Don't holiday? Don't waste your time, you kids. Don't waste your time on this guff. Just go and buy some proper chalk. Or watch telly. Not this. Is that it then? I think it is, yeah. Well, well done, everybody. I'm not finishing it. You're not finishing We're it. We're going to sit here until you apologise for being a cock. I'm not apologising. Oh, I refuse. I refuse to apologise oh. for making a lump of white dog shit for not and then the you saying, I've got to put it in the oven for f***ing four days. I didn't say in the oven for four days. This possibly, is why you don't do things, right? This is why things don't work for you, Lee, because you don't listen. And then possibly, after a month, I might be able to draw some faint scratch on the pavement in, in crumbled old chalk. No, I'm not apologising. I'm not. <laughs> You're too obsessed with poo. Out of the irises of animals. That's been said before. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Gallery are asking me to say that science that is, but I'm not. That science that is. Actually, it looks like you've got a really fat line ready to. Sniff. Are you implying that I take cocaine? No, I'm just saying it, that's what it might look like. No, you said that's what it looks like. Yeah. Whereas you have quite clearly not followed instructions. More rebel. You're something. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and of course on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Finish off my plant burger. You've still got some left. I have, yeah. Well, I've not. I've got the gherkins. The evil gherkins. Oh. Yeah,